creating a logo with the logo victory design system is fast it's easy it's fun and maybe most of all it's free you start by looking at template categories and you can see that we currently have five business general nonprofit political and team I'm gonna start by clicking the team category and looking through these templates and these the number of templates in here is uh, constantly updating I'm gonna start by clicking this basketball template Now that's gonna load it into the editor and that allows me to begin the design process. Now, first, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to click and hold and drag it out of the way here. Now, I actually don't want a basketball logo. I'm actually going to create a logo for a haunted house. So I'm going to double click this basketball. Now, now notice I previously have signed in. It, when you start, if you want to add art, you're going to have to either uh, register or sign in one of the two. So it allows, gives you access to the, to the artwork. So I'm going to double click this, and previously I browsed my hard drive and uploaded some images into my image folder. So I'm going to click this uh, scary image here for my haunted house. I'm going to grab the corner and I'm going to drag it and make it a little bit larger like that. The second thing I'm going to do is make this round circle here white so that it works with my uh, artwork. Now that now it's white. Now this this circle I want that to be flush against the white so I'm going to just grab the corners and I'm going to drag it to the inside until it fits real nice and snug. And I'm going to keep doing that till I get it just right. And I'm pretty close now. I'm going to come up here. This design editor has tremendous flexibility. I'm doing just a little bit too... Oops. I have the white there. Okay, so that looks pretty good now. now this WHS here, I don't need that, so I'm going to click the the X here in the middle and that's going to delete the layer. Now if I wanted to move this layer up or down I could either press the the up plus button to move it up a layer or the minus to to move it down a layer but for my purposes I just need to delete it. It's going to ask me to confirm it and yes I want to delete this. Now I need to add two text boxes. One at the top here and a second one. I'm going to grab it and again you just grab, you click, and you drag. I need to put this one down at the bottom. Now the first text box I'm going to type in here on the right JC's. The second one I'm going to type in Haunted House. Very good. Now I want to find just the right font for this so I'm going to come here and I'm going to drag and it's going to show me all my font choices and there are many to choose from but I'm going to in particular choose Vampirus for both for both of these and that that gives me the right feel for this particular uh, logo alright now as you can see they're just a little small so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drag and expand it and it'll automatically fix it so it looks just right I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm gonna drag it so it's centered right there and finally this text down at the bottom first I want that to be black excuse me I clicked the wrong one this this is the West High School basketball I want that to be black and I want it to say JC's haunted house 2009 and I'm gonna click update as you can see now I've created a logo from beginning to end I'm gonna click preview to see what the logo will fully look like. There we go. I like it. It's going to work for me. So now I'm going to click finish. Once I click finish it takes me into several choices for what I want to do with my logo. By clicking this I can get a free download for my logo and I can use this for letterhead, for uh, signs, for all sorts of things and if you agree just click I agree and download my logo. In this case I'm going to click I disagree. The other option is to purchase a a high resolution file and, and a, a logo package and this costs ninety nine dollars but with it you get uh, a stretchable EPS for as large a signage as you want and you also uh, get some other elements of a logo package but it's interesting you can also see your logo on products and so by clicking this you'll see what it might look like on a variety of products so if you need uh, t-shirts or coffee mugs uh, refrigerator magnets and there's all sorts of products that you can you can see just by clicking this button that says see all available products there are dozens and dozens of different products that you can put your logo on so it's a great process it's free we hope you enjoy it and uh, we hope it works in creating a logo for your organization or business